It's a scene often repeated in Seminole County neighborhoods, but not usually with an animal this large. You can see a bear, the largest ever, caught in Florida, making its way across residential properties. It's been months since Seminole County kicked off a voluntary program where residents can discourage bears by locking bear resistant trash cans. It's estimated that roughly 20,000 homes are being impacted by roaming bears, but West Tuesday McDaniel found out as of today, only 344 people have signed up for the program. Certainly, people living along Markham Woods Road have been dealing with bears in increasing numbers in recent years. And experts say the best way to keep bears moving along through your neighborhood is to keep human food away from them. But what's the best way to do it? Wildlife officials push bear resistant trash cans, saying if bears can't get to your trash, they'll be less of a nuisance. We have had bears in the community. Wandering around, but they don't stay. A local attorney crafted a bear aware policy for his neighborhood, a place where one of his neighbors was badly hurt by a bear. In Winfield North, every single person has a bear resistant garbage can and has agreed to keep other food sources away from bears. Yeah, on one occasion, we had a bear going down the street, testing one after the other down the entire street. Throwing them all around and jumping on them, and they couldn't get into them, and so we went back into the woods. The rest of the targeted area in Seminole County has not shown much enthusiasm, however. In nine months, only 344 have requested the specialized cans. Just over 1% of the homes considered in the bear zone. I do feel that those are woeful numbers. I wish they were higher. Commissioner Lee Constantine isn't ready to push for a mandatory program, hoping people can be convinced about the bear resistant cans. And there's no question that it would be beneficial to the human uh, element as well as the bear element. He says the cost, 180 per can and $60 a year for pickup, could be reduced if more joined in. And he believes fewer bears would be put down. For the folks in Wingfield North, after only a few months of having the bear resistant garbage cans, they certainly believe it was worth the investment, and they say it's working. Reporting in Seminole County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.